YouTube. So up next is this Chrysler 200. Um, it's girl owned and we're doing a crazy, crazy color on it. Probably the craziest color I did on it, even though I just did a young doll for it. Um, so yeah, pretty much fully disassembled to the point where I want it. Um, I took the headlight what or the headlight this the hood washers out um there's little plastic trims here so i could tuck as far as i can um this little trim piece just clips and then i took the door panels off as you can see to take off the mirrors because even though the bolts are right here the, the cable runs through and under the door panel so yeah i had to do that door handles as usual i'm going to take off as well window trims Lower window trims are all off. Tail lights, license plate, and same thing on the other side. So everything's disassembled, ready to go. And this is the color that we're going with. It's insane. It's uh, called opal white. So it has like literally every color you can imagine, depending on the angle you look at. Um, I think in the sun, it's more like whitish whitish purplish bluish but then certain angles you get the yellow green gold uh pink whatever so it's gonna be nuts she loves to stand out um i already noticed that she has this type of um thing going on here this theme with the uh, iridescent little pieces on the wheels uh so yeah she loves loves bright colors and this is the the craziest it gets so um yeah we're doing the opal white chrome on this thing it's gonna be crazy this material is also like um not really stretchable so it's gonna be interesting doing certain pieces the hood she, we are doing a gloss black stripe down the middle on those two body lines that you can see right there so it's gonna be gloss black right there. So this hood's sectioned off. So that's already easier. The roof's gonna be black. She got that idea from a different car. And then the rest of it's gonna be the chrome. I'm already thinking about uh, different ways to wrap the bumpers because this roll is also only four and a half feet wide instead of the normal five feet. So. That is also a little issue. You have to plan stuff out differently. Um, and yeah, I mean, just making sure that you have enough material because four feet, you know, when I measure out the side right here, it's going to be um, very close to the point where, you know, I'm going to have to do very precise cutting rather than just like, you know, not not too perfect like i always do because you know you have excess material on both both ends but this one because of the height it's going to be very close to cover the whole side with the side skirt the doors and the quarter panel so there's that i'm going to put you guys on a time lapse when i start doing this and yeah let's get it this one's going to be crazy <laughs>
out just to, I just took pictures outside it literally like it literally when it when when the color when the sun hits it it hits bounces off the ground like a mirror and it's just insanely bright like you could literally get blinded by this stuff if you stare too long but um so yeah whole top black the stripe goes down the back too with the quarter panel uh i did this where i cut it off here with the roof and then um did this little fade uh design towards the back reason being for that is that the roll in this material isn't a normal five foot roll it's four and a half so i'm missing half a foot so when i'm measuring this whole side out i'm missing half a foot get the side skirt and the doors and the quarter panel all up there the material literally cuts off right where that line is from the ground and there you know i can't really make any excess material to form each panel it was just you know right on right on the dot to cover each panel uh so yeah that was my idea it couldn't you can't stretch it up there to the quarter panel because it just ruins the color and yeah so there's a lot of stuff with this material that you got to think about it's a good thing that it happened on this car and the way she wanted it because now i know for anyone in the future that wants this you have to separate stuff you have to do like stripes or something extra to get this done like i said the stripe continues down the back badges are back on um trunk also <sighs> multiple pieces obviously because of the stripe as well so the piece stops where the stripe stops the chrome piece and then this is one piece right here and this inner part is one piece on both sides same thing and yeah same thing on the other side um yeah i mean this was a real uh crazy project uh but you know it's worth it and then i think it came out sick i'm happy with it she's definitely gonna be happy with it uh it's a really crazy color and yeah i mean i don't i honestly don't know if i'll use this material again it's really just not worth it if you're especially if you don't think about doing the stripe or separating it somehow it's just not made for cars it's, it's it doesn't it doesn't form around uh, round things yeah on to the next one guys let me know what you think like comment subscribe tell me what you think about this color would you do it is it too bright for you um yeah let me know